Looky, looky, what do you see? You thought you were selfish. You're actually free. <laughs> on Thursday, I'm teaching a 90 minute masterclass on how to heal yourself and save our people without going broke or being a disappointment. Secret number two, actually being selfish is no longer a bad thing. You have been lied to all of your life, okay? When I was in elementary school and even into middle school, I was so curious about why ever since I can remember, People always call me beautiful, told me I was pretty, gorgeous, and all of those things. And so when I would see myself in my reflection in a mirror, I had to investigate. I'm like, they're not necessarily saying this to everyone, so let me see what is going on. I looked at my eyes, my chin, all the features on my face because, well, from this side, I'm the only one that can't see my own face. Everyone else, can see my face except me so here i am the oldest girl of four kids and it felt like every time i looked in a mirror my sisters and brother magically appeared like out of nowhere there i remember them saying oh my god alicia you're so vain why are you always staring at them yourself in the mirror or mirror mirror on the wall blah 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 to this day, I still feel a little awkward in pictures because I know like people will be looking at these pictures in the future and I like judgment and it's gonna be there forever. Ah, all these things. <laughs> so I passed that phase in my youth and then I went on into a spiral of phases like the relaxer phase. For 10 years, I wore my hair bone straight like there was something wrong with my curls even one wave from this houston humidity and i was quick to go grab my flat iron and do a quick touch up then there was the makeup phase where i dreaded even taking off my makeup because it would seem like i was no longer pretty without it you know like all of a sudden my skin i could see all the imperfections all these things I got caught up doing just to fit in to what I thought was what other people expected of me. I didn't want to appear selfish or self-centered or unique. I wanted to fit in. And I had begun to ignore every intuition and communication from my inner self. So now I intentionally am awkward and silly in pictures. I always rock the afro unless i'm rocking like a fro hawk or i try something new which is like once a quarter ish <laughs> but all all hairstyles lead back to the afro and i do wear bare face on purpose so i'm super excited to share secret number two with you that actually being selfish is no longer a bad thing you have been lied to all your life and it's okay because breaking this belief that I was selfish anytime I thought about me was a huge milestone. Anytime I thought about being unique, all of that. So I invite you to join me live this Thursday at the virtual masterclass. I will be teaching how to heal yourself and save our people without going broke or being a disappointment. Save the date in your calendar, be there, when you register, it's free for those who are called. You do only get one opportunity to join. So look out for the video about secret number three. And if you have not seen secret number one, go back and watch it now. You'll see the video, I think it's on this side. Here's your homework. If you are keeping up with us in this YouTube free training and you're getting credit hours just for watching this video to the end, I invite you to reflect on a time when you have been selfish. Then write, what really happened? How has that experience affected your reality right now? You can even add some things that you intentionally choose to change going forward. Write one page double space and use the homework folder in the description. 
my team and I started the log and the documents for you to show you how to go and how to get started. It's up to you to complete it according to the videos and the assignments. So click the link in the description to start your journey to 50 hours of earned credits from this free YouTube training. Follow me and connect with me on IG at Afro Yoga. Follow the business page at Mastermind Yoga. And I thank you so much for watching. Here's to our mission to spread world peace through inner peace. Ashuk. Y'all, I got every color of these sweatshirts. I have every color of the Black Yogi's Matter tees. This is really like what I wear. It's my go-to whenever I'm leaving out the house because this stuff sends a message. This sends a message that I care about people who feel disenfranchised. I care about people who thought yoga wasn't for them for so long. And I welcome you to join me in this revolution, in this shift of consciousness so that all of us can enjoy ourselves through yoga. So get yours. There's a link in the description. Get your teas, get all the colors. And I look forward to hearing about how you've started conversations, you've gotten new clients, and about how you just feel good. I mean, the soft material and the bright colors. So I love you guys. Peace. Black Yogis Matter. We are changing the world one shirt at a time. Be a part of the movement, a part of the revolution, and get your shirt in the description below.